right, today we're going to be unboxing the Kicker Solo X15. So let's get it open. Now, it wouldn't be an unboxing video without the official unboxing knife. And this one was sent to me a couple years ago by El Fuego. He really is a true OG supporter. You guys are probably seen him in the chat. So with that being said, let's get this unboxed. Now you guys have probably seen the 12 inch unboxed quite a bit, but I figure why not? Every release of the Solo X is special to me. So let's unbox it. Now we're gonna use the big D method here. We're gonna flip the box over and let it come out like that. Definitely easier that way. So we know that it uses the same motor as the 10 and the 12 we still get that 2000 watt rms power rating but we're getting a lot more cone area so let's open it up and see how much more cone area one thing to note is you do get your cutout template right here definitely nice to have a template because this is not a circle cutout get your instructions and a few kicker stickers always got to have stickers right the foam is embossed, so that's cool. Now let's see if I can grab this boy out of here. That is not light, y'all. The 12 weighs about the same, but man, they are freaking heavy. You can see all the foam they packed this thing in, so it is, uh, it's not gonna get damaged at all in the shipping. No worries about that. Oh man. All right, here it is in all its glory. Man, this thing is huge. I'm telling you, this looks like an 18 inch subwoofer. This does not look like a 15 inch subwoofer. Let me grab another 15 inch subwoofer just to compare an average size 15 inch subwoofer and we'll see how they look now that is a Savard Rap 15 and uh, this is you know an entry model so it's not going to be comparable to this in any way but I'm using it as a size reference you can see not only is this taller much taller than the Rap it's also much bigger. While we're here, let's check out how much cone area we do have. From cone area only, we have 10 and a half inches square. Then if you want to count from the surround to surround, around 13 and a half inches. Then if you go corner to corner, 17 and a quarter. So now let's compare that to the 12 and see where we're at on that. All right, here is the 12 inch. So cone area on it, right about eight inches. Outside, we're about 10 and three quarters of an inch. And then corner to corner, we're about 14 inches exactly. So as you can see, you do get quite a bit more cone area on the Solo X15 versus the 12. As far as the motor goes, you guys are already familiar with this. You know what the deal is. It's a massive motor. It's the same motor on the 10 and the 12. You might think, why didn't they switch it for the 15? But Honestly, you don't need much more than this motor on these subs at 2,000 watts. Let's yeah, let's measure the motor. What do you say? We are about nine inches round with the boot, and right at four inches tall. The basket obviously is a little bigger for the 15, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as the rest of the Solo X. So this is just an unboxing video. You already know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna build an enclosure, put it in the trooper, and see what this thing does compared to the 12. Hope you're pumped for that. If you are, let me know in the comments below, what do you think I'll be able to do SPL wise with around four to 5,000 watts. I will tell you that I did a 143.6 with the Solo X12 on 3,000, 4,000 watts. So give me your best guess in the comments below. And if you're excited about the Solo X, let me know in the comments below as well. And with all that being said, I hope every single one of you come back to watch this thing in action for some SBL testing. 
Catch you on the next one. A big shout out to all my supporters, but a special shout out goes to the Six Star Award members. El Fuego Audio, Baba, Cornut, Scott McCord, David Koslick, Scott Dielbeck, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Travis McLennan, William Bird, 2001 Monolithic, Joaquin Juarez, Old School Stereo, Living Loud with Andy, Thomas Marshall, Kevin Lautner, D. Stewart, Jesus Tires, Bobby Burkett, and Neil Mado. You can join the team for as little as $2 a month. Get your name in the credits for as little as $3 a month. And for as little as $6 a month, you can get your name read aloud. Join me at patreon.com slash hi vega.